hi guys hi beautiful people it's your girl once more i know i have been missing in action and i thought you know what let me come here and update you guys update all my youtube subscribers my handful of fans about what has been happening so i know i haven't uploaded for a very long time except for uh, a day ago when i uploaded something about our home uh, hunting journey and our home ownership journey i'm still having issues you know like knowing where to look at when i'm you know talking on the camera so so in case you see my eyes jumping all over just understand so i thought i should just update you my subscribers i have been so busy like i mentioned i just started working at home and uh dealing with the kids the whole day i try to put in as much work as possible and that's why i just haven't had enough time to just sit down <coughs> sorry and record a video and upload and all that and edit and all that so just a little update i'm here seated at my corner office i'm gonna show you how it looks it's a, just a little space in the corner of my house of my bedroom i can't wait to have like a whole office to myself i'm really looking forward the more reasons why um i'm hoping that we get a bigger space or a bigger unit so i can have this whole office to myself i'm planning to um expand in uh, everything that i do with regards to work and i'll definitely need a bigger more private space so yeah so put, cross your fingers for us and put us in your prayers and hope for the best as uh, we begin this home hunting right now i'm calling it a home hunting but i'm um, hoping to you know bring you along throughout the whole journey of uh, our home ownership <clears throat> i'm sorry i've been having a very bad cold um it's that season so anyway so just a little bit of my office space this is my office space i've still not removed the decorations on the walls this is where my daughter's crib used to be so yeah i love those decorations they're pink and everything and uh, that is my son me and my daughter so this is the corner office that is my desk with a laptop and a monitor and that's everything and i'm not the best at memory so i like to put all this here all these sticker notes here to you know just give me a reminder when i'm on call uh so i do different things um with regards to work i do uh customer service and uh, other different uh other different things that i'm gonna mention as i go along because i'm just starting to start uh, an entrepreneurship journey so yes so uh, when you're in customer service uh, there's a lot that sometimes you need to remember you need to be on top of your game when you're speaking to clients and that's why i prefer to put this all these stickers here and i have more somewhere there and that makes me um <coughs> effective okay so um i'm gonna mount my camera here and speak to moms i'm gonna mount my camera there and speak to uh moms who are uh let me just say stay at home who have babies at home and uh maybe you've been wondering how you can start working from home i have a few tips for you which can guide you on just how to begin the first thing i can advise is to find ways of keeping the kids busy and just uh, getting a safe space where you can at least leave the ba babies unattended for a little time you can always check on them you can get a camera just make sure the space is safe for me personally i leave them in the um sitting a sitting area that is sitting area come playroom and uh so i just make sure because they're toddlers and now they love watching the tv show i know it's not advisable to give them long tv time i try to limit that but i also buy buy them toys that they really enjoy having i've bought them a, a slide you know a very small slide where they can just keep busy they have toys there and then i have a toddler gate that i lock so they don't come upstairs and you know i know sometimes they can be loud and they're throwing tantrums and i wouldn't want my clients or my customers you know to hear that it because it's a little bit unprofessional even the the, the employer it's it just it doesn't paint a good picture so i put a gate there and another thing is i also put another one towards uh, the kitchen or the dining area so they are limited to the place that they stay and i always always make sure that i look around just to make sure that everything is safe there's uh, they're out of harm way there are no like things lying around that can you know choke them and all that or harm them 
and I know they're toddlers and now sometimes they tend to fight each other so um, I also have these um, like dining chairs they're dining chairs uh, sometimes I prefer to put them locked there each one has their own or sometimes I lock one and leave the other one or when I know I'll be checking uh, on them on short intervals I just leave all of them unlocked <coughs> like I said you'll pardon me because of my cold ever since I got COVID I've always always been uh, having getting colds and you know my immunity was kind of compromised so try and keep safe out there okay another thing that i i do um what else what else as a mom i know it's very automatic it's very obvious you'll know how to take care of the kids you'll know what to watch out for just make sure they are secured somewhere i don't know about infants i really can't advise my kids are now toddlers so they know how to keep themselves themselves busy but i just want to assure you mama it's possible it can be done but when you're starting don't don't be too hard on yourself personally I, i'm not too hard on myself i choose jobs that i can schedule my time i can schedule my own time and i decide when i want to work and when i'm ready and i think i'm relaxed and the kids are relaxed and they are fed and they're good i come schedule like one hour work go stay with them one hour take them for a walk one hour 40 minutes whatever i come back schedule another one hour the good thing is when their dad or uh, <clears throat> their brother is around i tend to you know get enough time to to work but i'm not hard on myself and i choose jobs that i can actually schedule for myself i've seen moms in uh, some groups that i'm in that work full time and they actually have infants and they are alone at home with no help and it's working very well for them so it's possible where do you get these jobs you can get these jobs all over i'm not gonna recommend all these pages but work at home jobs right now are all over i'm gonna recommend um a number of like agencies or places like two places where you can where you can start with but if you're looking for variety there two pages on facebook there's one called war queen w a h queen something something and another one i think work at home jobs they have very high following and i think it will be i'll, I'll, I'll try and attach that um, not really the links but the screenshot to those facebook pages they are really good they just give variety and variety and variety of you know different jobs people are recommending for each other and People are giving their experiences and most of them are stay at home moms, work for at home moms and you can just get the motivation from there. So be sure to click on these uh, Facebook pages and join and just see what's happening in there. To start with, I'll only recommend the ones that I began with. I began with um, Working Solutions. If you can look at WorkingSolutions.com and Arise Virtual Solutions. Those are the two that I know that you can actually schedule your own time in intervals, 30 minutes, intervals, 15 minutes, 45 minutes. I know, I'm not going to lie. The pay is not like all that unless you're working for more than one client. It's all about just, you know, just starting. And then as you work, the more you work, the more opportunities you'll see, the more you'll get uh, the knowledge, the more you'll get the skills, the more you'll get the experience. And, uh, you know, so the more you will see the op bigger opportunities and more money. But most of these work at home jobs, honestly, uh, for you to really get like a good pay or earning, most of them require full time. Most of them require full time, mostly. It's something. It's something. At the end of the day, you have something in your pocket. It keeps you distracted. It keeps you busy. That's one or two. Most of the equipments you can, uh, if you can afford, of course, buy new ones. Personally, I started off, like I said, I started off simply. I bought most of this from the marketplace. They are good. They're in perfect condition. I got them from the marketplace. I got them from a mom's group. I tried to, you know, find out who has a good laptop. I bought from them. And um, so it's very, I can say, very doable or very easy to start. Just go to marketplace, look for these equipment, see the requirements and the specs and everything that the requirements, the requirements of the equipment grab yourself some equipment i use a laptop i use a monitor i went to amazon get a good noise cancelling headphones these ones are called cyber acoustics cyber acoustics very nice with a good microphone and with noise cancelling so when the door is shut and the people are screaming all there i don't think the clients hear that because 
I haven't had one complaining so yes so that's all about my work at home like I said I schedule my own time I try to find when I'm well rested when the kids are easy I come I work I run down I check on them sometimes I just put myself on uh, on a short break I go uh, play with them keep them busy give them something to eat you know give them a walk and then come back and continue working so that is the update about my um current currently my lifestyle and uh, that's what i do on um daily basis i used to work weekends but now i don't the client that i work with right now i just work monday to friday it's working for me but i have bigger dreams for come january like i said i'd really like to get into entrepreneurship it will give me enough time with my family enough time with the babies and I really want to do something for myself. I'm tired of, you know, putting all my effort and my energy and my brains, you know, to people's businesses and all that. So I want to do it for me and my kids. But of course, on the side, I'll definitely be doing some work at home. And you know what? Just try and keep that money coming in. So that's it for now. Other than that, I've been trying to, you know, like work out, try to work on my body. I've gone 15 pounds down. It may not show, but yeah, 15 pounds down. I try to work out like um, four times a week. Um, yeah, when I can, I try to work out. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself with regards to that too. But yeah, that's also something that I've been up to and I just needed to stay off uh, the YouTube and everything. Not even needed. I just cooled in, you know, I cooled in at that, at that point. But yeah, hopefully going forward, I can be able to bring you along on some of my, you know, journey and creating content. And if you're watching this right now, please give me those, you know, subscriptions, like, and I can promise you there are awesome contents coming, especially if you're a mom. You're, you know, really trying to make it. You're trying to uh, just deal with toddlers. I, I'm, I just try to encourage. I just try to, you know, make a mom out there. Ah, this is something I would want to see. These are things I go to YouTube to watch, you know, to get motivation and inspiration and see what other moms are doing, you know, and then I motivate myself. And it, it's doable and the kids are growing. I can't wait, you know. So I know sometimes people are like, you know, I look at them, I miss their baby days, but you know what? I'm just thankful. I'm just grateful to God that they're growing. They're all good. All looking good. All looking good. You know, different. They're developing their personalities, their character. I'm enjoying it. And yes, despite the challenges that come with motherhood, you know, and taking care of a family and also taking care of a teenager now, you know. So that's it for now. Remember to like, subscribe, follow my journey. And until next time, adios.